Hey guys, what's going on? Your boy Amar here from Hilliard Rimlines. Okay guys, welcome to the showroom. So today I'm doing a simple video on how to program TPMS sensors using the uh, Extra Seal Smart Sensor Pro. So we're not, I'm not teaching you how to put the vehicle in learning mode and I'm not teaching you how to walk around and program the vehicle. What I'm teaching you how to do today is how to program a blank sensor using the smart tool, the Smart Sensor Pro. So right now we have an empty, this is a 315 megahertz, we're gonna get back to that in a second. So let's power this up, So what we do. The international sign for turning power on on electronics, so hold that down. It's gonna power up Smart Sensor Pro Plus, okay, it's gonna read you all the information. Okay, right now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to vehicle selection, okay? So this is one that I did before, so let's go, or I'll show you what to do. We're gonna, so look at the arrows up and down, back and enter, just memorize those, okay? So we're gonna go to vehicle selection. Okay, I push enter. So let's say I wanna do a Jeep, okay guys? So it's very simple, you, you click the manufacturer, which is Jeep. Then let's do a compass. So let's pick a Jeep compass, all right? Click enter. So we're working on a 2009 Jeep compass. So if 2009 falls between 2007, 2011, so it's a 315. Now, one crucial guys thing, just because the top says 315 and the bottom says 315, let's say if you're working on 09, and you say, hey, okay, who cares? Let's just do a, let's program a 2012 to 2016 because it's the same frequency. Don't do that, guys. Even though it's the same frequency, there's different programming codes. So if you program a 2012 to 2016 for 2009, the sensors will not activate when you walk around, guys. So please, input the exact year. Don't just go by the megahertz. It's the one, it's 50-50. So the megahertz obviously has to be correct, but you have to input the correct uh, year. So don't do 2009 under 12. So let's go to the first one, okay? So what we want to do, there's three options. Scan is to scan if you want to scan a sensor that's already on a vehicle. Copy if you already cloned the sensor outside. And program new sensor. So we're going to program a new sensor, okay? So let's just put that down for a second, okay? Under program a new sensor. So we've got the 315 megahertz here. So that's what we would ask for. Let's open this box up quickly before it times out. Okay guys, so let's open this up like so. Okay, instructions, whatever, we don't need to do that. So there it is right there guys, okay? So right there, 315 megahertz sensor as you can see. Let's see if we can get in there. So it's not zooming in because it's very close, so no big deal. So what you wanna do is there's the uh, pins right there. Okay, we got the pins right here. So you wanna line up the pins, guys. So there's a little tab where you push this tab back. You see the pins down there? I know you can't see, right there. See those little dots? So you wanna line this up like so, okay guys? So you put it in, make sure you push it in. Now slide the safety latch forward. Okay, you gotta kinda of push down, yeah. So one thing, you gotta push down the sensor and push that same time so it goes in. It's not working for some reason, let's see why. There it is. You gotta make sure this is pushed down all the way, then slide the safety latch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go program, new sensor, I'm gonna hold this up so light doesn't hit it too much, so you can see. So we're gonna click right there, see, enter, program, new sensor. So it's erasing anything that's currently on there. Programming, programming, programming. Verifying, you're doing tests. Okay, program successful. Sensor ID done, it's for the compass, so it tests it. It erase anything that's on there, just in case that maybe the manufacturer did some tests. So erase what's ever on there, it reprogrammed, and it did a quick check, so when you put it in, you don't gotta do that again. So let's go back and let's erase this, because we need this for another vehicle. Go back, let's go to... Let's keep going back. So right now, what I try to do is I try to erase this, but what you don't, you don't have to do that because next time you program a new sensor, it's gonna erase the existing flash that's on there and it's gonna program whatever you work on. So that's how you program the Easy Smart, Extra Seal Easy Smart Sensor Pro by programming a blank sensor. Okay guys, thanks for watching. My name's Amar. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Thanks for watching guys and uh, make sure you go on there and subscribe. Thanks, bye.